Chris Williams' Southwest Onslow Stallions losing to North Pitt in last year's state tournament for just their second loss of the entire year left a bad taste in their mouth. But now 11 games into this season, his ladies are off to an undefeated start, looking to go for 12 in a row at North Lenore, where everyone was out supporting, even those past their bedtimes. As Coach Williams said, his team relies on defense. As Oriana Galloway with the breakaway from the steal, and she goes up for two. She had a team high of 25 points for the Stallions. And then Alexana Goddard, she's going to go off the glass, but did she call bank though? And guess who's watching? Brandon Ingram's father, Donald, supporting North Lenora's coach, a good friend of his. But despite the encouragement and support for the Hawks, the Stallions blast their way to a 55-17 win where Coach Williams focuses on one side of the ball and it's not offense. Identity is defense. It's all about the defense. We have set a motto every game. We want to keep people under 30 points. We feel like we keep people under 30 points. We can sneeze and wake up and get score 40 points. So our motto is defense, defense, and when it ain't defense, it's more defense. Make it 12 in a row now for the Stallions. Plus, the men came right after as the 5 and 7 Hawks were seeking to upset the 8 and 4 Stallions. As Malachi Ramsey, little pass fake, and he's going to drain the tray early to get everyone going. For this young fan was trying to bring the Riz. How you doing? But stealing away his confidence was Rue Chapman, who takes it to the other end, and he's going to slam it with the one hand jam. And then Breon Hall getting his guys centered around each other, making sure they're all focused up as Kendall Faulkner lines this one up from deep and cashed it as Southwest Onslow would roll to get their ninth win of the season. And let's head on down to West Craven, where Kayla Ballard leading the Eagles, who are undefeated, but they were playing in an 11-1 East Carteret squad where Nalia Bryant hits the three-pointer. And then the Vanceboro community was loud and involved in the cheerleading. Then Alyssa Yates, little pump fake. She's going to take some contact here and finish through with the and one. And coach getting a little more pep talk, one more time in there as Shea Lawn Yates giving the Eagles a cushionable lead. And Eagles now 10-0 after a 54-40 dub. Plus, let's check out some other scores around the high schools. Green Central wins 65-61 against Aiden Grifton. Farmville rolls on the road 82-59 over the Pan Pack of Washington. And Wallace Rose Hill wins 77-60 over South Lenore. And heading up to the NBA, Brandon Ingram hooping tonight in New Orleans where the former Kinston star scored 12 points and added four rebounds in the Pels 111-95 loss to the Clippers. And let's slide on over to the ice where the Hurricanes on a four game winning streak at Washington, but they trailed two to nothing after the first period, would go into the third period down one, two to one. And how about this onslaught of goals by the Hurricanes? Like the team was struck by lightning, not one, two, three, four, or five, but six. Six straight unanswered goals and the Hurricanes win their fifth straight with their sticks on fire in the final period. Up next, hosting the Blues tomorrow in Raleigh. And we got some big games for men's basketball tomorrow. NC State fresh off their buzzer beater heading to Virginia. Wake Forest in their eight game winning streak hosting Miami. Duke at Notre Dame and then ECU men hosting Tulsa Sunday for their AAC opener. And that'll do it for sports for News 12. I'm Luke Schwartz, and that's tonight's edition of Sports with Schwartz.